everyone, welcome back to Little Looks Great Stories. Today we will be reading Pink Delicious and Aqua the Mini Mermaid. In this book, Pink Delicious and Peter go to see their friend Aqua the Mini Mermaid. But when they go to the beach to have some fun, they see two sharks swimming right towards them. Fast! Let's read to find out what happens. Make sure to subscribe and like the video, hit the bell icon, and let's start reading. Pinkalicious and Aqua the Mini Mermaid Peter and I were going to see our mermaid friend Aqua for a special play date. She was going to show us all around her favorite seaside spots. We headed over to the aquarium where Aqua lives. When we arrived, we found Aqua in a tank full of colorful creatures. Hi, Aqua. I said, ready to go? Just a moment, she replied. I'm almost done teaching the school of fish how to mambo. While we waited, Peter and I checked out the aquarium. Look, I said, that's a butterfly fish, and this one's called a parrotfish. I found a frogfish and a toadfish, Peter pointed. We saw a goatfish, a scorpionfish, and a porcupine fish, too. Maybe they should call this zoo aquarium, I said. At last, Aqua was ready for our adventure. She met us outside. Let's go this way, she said, motioning towards the ocean. We scooped up Aqua in my pink bucket and skipped through the surf. Soon we reached a big hole filled with water. Welcome to the tide pool, said Aqua. We leaned over the edge and peeked in. There were starfish, clams, and sea plants everywhere. It was like a miniature ocean, perfect for a miniature friend. This is my favorite spot to think, said Aqua. Clams make great listeners. Peter steps on something flat and smooth as we walked along the coast. What's this? he said. Oh, cried Aqua, a sand dollar. How wonderful! Peter's eyes widened. A sand dollar? Excuse me, Aqua, but I need to borrow this bucket. Aqua and I relaxed on the shore as Peter hurried for sand dollars. Should we tell him it's not real money? Aqua whispered. Maybe in a minute, I said. Just then, we heard a big rumble. Oh, the waves are loud today, Aqua marveled. Actually, that was my tummy, I said. Excuse me. It was definitely time for a snack. I know just the place, said Aqua. Our mermaid guided us to a grove of palm trees with more coconuts than you can count. Aqua showed us how to split them in half and sip the milk inside. It was like our own tropical tea party. May I offer you a little milk, Aqua? I said, pouring some into a seashell. Why, thank you, Aqua replied. It goes perfectly with my seaweed sandwich. After we ate, Aqua said she had one more place to sew us. But this one is a surprise, she said with a smile. She led us to a cave and told us to close our eyes. We walked very, very slowly. Now, said Aqua, look around you. In the cove was the most beautiful collection of ocean treasure we had ever seen. There were seashells every shape and color. Pieces of sea glass sparkled in the sunlight. This is where I keep all the treasure I find on my sea adventures, said Aqua. It's my special collection. Do you like it? But Peter and I couldn't answer. We were simply speechless. The three of us sat in the cave and looked out the ocean. Everything was peaceful and quiet. Suddenly, Peter stood up. Uh-oh, he said. I think we've got company. Off in the distance, we saw two fins poking out of the water. They were swimming towards us fast. Are those two sharks? I asked Aqua. She gulped. I hope not, she said. The fins got closer and closer. I was scared. What are we going to do? said Peter. Maybe they just want to be friends, I said, though I wasn't so sure there was such things as a friendly shark. Just then, the creatures burst out of the water. They weren't sharks at all. 
They were dolphins. And not only that, they were pink dolphins. Of course, said Aqua. I should have known. Pink Alicious and Peter meet Sandy and Shelly. They pass through here around this time every year. How do you do? I said, curtsying. Thank goodness you aren't sharks, said Peter. Sandy and Shelly bobbed their heads and squealed. They jumped way up high and did double flips. I think they like you, said Aqua. They're putting on a show. Sandy and Shelly leaped and twisted and twirled and splashed. When they were done, they nudged us with their noses. They want you to join them, said Aqua. Peter looked at me. I looked at Peter. A swim with the dolphins? How could we resist? As the sun began to set, we knew it was time to go home. Sandy and Shelly gave the three of us a ride back to the aquarium. Goodbye, we called from the beach as their fins disappeared back into the ocean. We waved goodbye to Aqua and thanked her for showing us all her favorite spots. The beach is full of magic, I said, and you're the most marvelous part. Yeah, said Peter, that's for sure. As I lay in bed that night, I could still smell the salty sea air. I made a wish upon a sea star that I'd be back to visit soon. Thank you for listening to today's Read Aloud. Please come back again next week for another one here at Little Books Great Stories.